Hey guys, the chicken is here. We are back today with another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, we got a fresh new base. We did go to 5ER. Uh, we've been kind of experimenting, feeling it around a little bit. It's um, it's not great, but it's not horrible either. And um, <clears throat> it gives us some good options over the next couple days. So, if you guys haven't already, appreciate it. If you subscribe to the channel, you want to be entered in the monthly giveaways, make sure you become a member of the channel. This month's giveaway has already been announced on the, uh, the membership community tab. Uh, on the channel page, and I appreciate those of you guys that have been using that code chicken in the shop. All right, let's get into it. So, uh, like I said, we went to 5ER, and this is actually Stoneheart Space, who is way up on the leaderboard. Um, now, I don't have the Shock Blaster, and I think I'm missing a couple other things, but for the most part, we have the same, uh, we have the same base layout. So, I think it's going to be decent. Now, let's look at, um, there's the base, let's look at the tech tree here. Now, the the reason I said that it gives us some options over the next couple days is we're kind of within reach, all of the good stuff now. Now, admittedly, going back and looking at this, I think I would have done it differently. Um, I think what I should have done is got the prototype when I was at four yards when I would have been early to get it, and then push to 19 or 20 from there, and then go to five. Um, because the way I've done it here, there's not really been any benefit, um, of any of the stuff that we got to. I was hoping that five itself would be 19, but, uh, so far that has not been the case. Um, uh, but that's okay because just in, you know, a few more chests, we're going to be able to get to building health. So I'm hoping that that is our diamond push. Uh, again, we'll see. That's what I'm leaning towards right now. We could go back and get rocket launchers. That's going to be helpful. We also have the tokens for them, which is good. Um, but yeah, as of right now, the plan is to keep moving forward, stay on the plan, stay on the path to building health, then start to backfill all this stuff. Now, Super Warriors are kind of a wild card. Super Warriors are very good right now, and I believe the way we're using them is to take out engine rooms. Um, so that allows you to just get through the base faster. Um, so we might make a pit stop at Super Warriors, depending on how good they turn out to be. But for right now, that's the, that's the plan anyways. And yeah, we want to go, we kind of want to get everything between 5 and 6. Um, then at that point, go back and get to rocket launchers, pick up the prototype. We've got everything, you know, back this way that we need anyways. So um, it should be interesting. It should be interesting. So let's dive into some attacks and see if we can get this to work. We are using tanks still. We're going to be using tanks for a long time. We don't have uh, bombardiers until pretty well the end of the season again. So um, it's going to be an interesting... Interesting couple weeks almost without them. So let's go uh, Proto Clones. One, two, three, four, five, six. Whoops. Uh, clone Rifleman. And that's what we're going to start off with here. So hitting the five engine bases, it's, you know, there's not that much difference. Um, I mean, basically what we want to do is just drop them kind of like I did. I, I do like delay dropping them, them if we can. Um, especially if we can get through all this initial kind of splash damage. Typically that's uh, done pretty well for us. Um, so that's how we want to do the opening and then we're just kind of free clearing using the golden critters here and there um, to distract stuff and to pop mines and yeah. So as long as we can keep a couple of the clone rifles alive that should distract the shock launcher long enough. Let's go explosive drones down this way. Okay, okay. Uh, we're going to trim off all the tanks on the side there, it looks like. I got no uh, shock mines. Those boom cannons around the side, those are deadly. Oh my god. Uh, let's go golden critters here. Let's go explosive critters over here. One more shot on the tank. There we go. We got one of them down at least. Uh, I have not done a base like this yet, so this is, uh, I did not realize how deadly those boom cannons were. Um, alright, let's go. Sheesh, I've only got a couple tanks left, guys. This is not looking good. How does this guy have so many boom cannons? It's like everywhere I look, there's another boom cannon. Um, okay, we're gonna go like this. We're gonna fizzle on this one for sure. That's no good. 
that's no good, because our base is not really a fizzle base. Even though we added the damage amp, um, yeah, but we'll see what kind of time he's going to get at least, I guess. All right, let's take a look. Mr. C. Let's take a look. So he's using Grand Soul. If we had just simply got through that base, we would have crushed him, but... Um, yeah, I'm not seeing a ton of uh, ton of Grenadier players anymore. Um, I think those guys are more so at the top, or they're a little bit higher now because they have better defense. Uh, the people that cho the that went with Grenadiers. Um, I mean, they're okay. They're just slow. Like, why are you flaring them like that, dude? Why not just let them go? You're retreating. Uh, that was weird. Oh, strange. Maybe he didn't have instant training. Don't know. Um, anyways, that's fine. Because we knew that we were we would have won that if we had kept it together. Um, so we'll try it again. We'll try it again and see what we can do. Uh, guys, we have a Discord server. We're about to hit 2,000 members. So that would be cool if you um, want to join that up. It's a great place just to chat and you know figure out the meta and all the good warship stuff. Um, we got a lot of great guys in there. that um, it, It's pretty active, so... Alright, let's go this way, this way, and let's see, put some drones down, alright, this one shouldn't be too much of a problem, he's got the two shocks in the corner, the funny thing about this season is we don't have any, um, we don't have any shock bombs, so I was running a base like this before where I put both the shock launchers on top of each other, it wasn't great, but it was funny to sometimes be able to shock lock somebody and they couldn't move at all. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I, I think we need shock bombs earlier as a good, as a good kind of tech tree principle because it's not, um, it's tough not using it. It's tough not using it and it allows you to do weird stuff like that, but I don't know. For right now, at least, you know, the, the bases, we can still clear them. So, <clears throat> so it's fine for, uh, the time being, but I imagine in the next couple days, as people start to add all this defense that is available at five, things are going to get pretty dirty. So just a little warning, um, for that great time to pick up instant training coming into this week for sure. You will get your value out of that. Um, now hopefully I'm kind of worried we're going to get shock locked here, guys. I almost don't want to touch them because I don't want them to move. Um, let's go. Can we do something like this? Uh-oh. This is looking like a shock lock here. Oh, come on, Tex. <laughs> Get out from under the... the uh. See, I tried to to get them to not all sit together. But coming around the wall, I should have known that's exactly what they were going to do. If we can get them all to shoot at the same time, we'll at least take down one. This is why we need shock bombs. This is why we need shock bombs right here. Yes, I could have flared them around, but I didn't. Oh, come on, guys. You're so close to shooting. We should one-shot this launcher at least if they ever get a shot off. They're still moving, dude. Like, how are you not locked in yet? Oh, my God, man. <laughs> uh, well, there it is, guys. There's your update for 5ER. This is how it's been going. So thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate you. And uh, let me know how you guys are making out. Down below in the comments. And uh, we'll catch you next one. Chicken is out. Back, back.